Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. If you missed the last one, click the pop-up link so you can catch up. In this episode, we are continuing our charter with Navigar Yachting here in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. So stick around to join us as we explore so much of what these islands have to offer. Good morning. Last night we made it into Virgin Gorda just as the sun was setting. And then we went out for an amazing dinner at this restaurant called Coco Maya, which if you're ever in the BVI's, you absolutely have to stop at this restaurant. It has the coolest atmosphere and the food was phenomenal. Today's day two of the charter. And I think we are gonna go and check out the baths this morning, which is a really famous spot here in the BVI's. And I can't wait to show you guys. Check out the view from our cabin. It's so beautiful outside. actually anchored right in front of the boatyard where we repaired the rudder. So if you remember back on Gypsy Moon, the rudder broke in half and we honestly did not have the best experience last time that we were in the BBIs just because of that. It was very stressful and we just spent all our time in the boatyard and as soon as we got out of the boatyard, we just left immediately. So we never went to the baths and like we've never been to Anagata and there's so much stuff that we still haven't done even though we've been here before. And it's nice to kind of get that like redemption and be able to come here again and have a much better experience this time around. We were anchored just around the corner from the baths, so it was only a short five minute dinghy ride to get over there. The baths are made up of massive granite boulders, some as large as 40 feet in diameter. As we made our way through this labyrinth of cavernous passages and sheltered sea pools, we could not help but be completely awestruck by all of its natural beauty. How did this happen? People Supposedly, there's a story that there were two giants, one on this side of the Devil's Inlet and one on the other side, another island over here. There was a great battle between the two giants and they were throwing these massive boulders at one another across the inlet. I don't know why. Nothing like a good coco loco. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna give you a little run through on uh, how to take this anchor back up, pull your bridle in and all that kind of stuff. In the front, pretty straightforward. You got a remote control, it says up and down. That's gonna bring your anchor chain and spin your windlass either up or down. So right now we got anchor out. You wanna make sure you're looking in the anchor locker down here and you're not piling your chain up too much so that it keeps feeding into your 
the basin. So you might need to come and wiggle that around every now and again. And what you want to do is direct your captain. If you need to move, you got to tell her where to do so. So follow your chain. Just got the little mantis clip on here. Pull this pin, slide that baby off, and just dump her right on in there. Here it is. It'll be tender when you pull this baby up the last way so you're not smashing the anchor into the bottom of the collar. There you go, get her snug. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your safety line here. This one's got a cleat, but a lot of these will have clips. Cleat it off, clip it off. You're good to go, baby. Hold up anchor and we are heading out of here and going towards Anagata Island. And in order to get there, we gotta go through this tiny little cut right here between two reefs. In order to turn the engines off and get moving by the power of the wind, first we must steer head into the wind so that we can raise the mainsail. Once the mainsail is up, we fall off the wind towards our desired direction in order to allow the wind to catch the sail. Then it's time to take out the jib, which is pretty much as easy as pushing a button because this Bali 4.2 catamaran is equipped with electric winches. And just like that, we are sailing. If you've ever wondered what a charter like this might cost, here's a breakdown of the Bali 4.2 for seven days. If you choose to do a bare boat, you can split it between eight people in four cabins for a total of $990 a person. Click the link in the video description to take advantage of the discounts they're running right now. Once we arrived in Anagata, we dropped the anchor and had to jump right in that beautiful blue water. Jump! There really is nothing quite like waking up on the ocean and stepping outside first thing in the morning to be surrounded by turquoise waters and pristine beaches. Today we decided to explore Anagata by land, and what better way than to hop on some mopeds to really get a lay of the land. Oh, dude, that's the look right <laughs>
here in Anagata, one of the best things to do is to rent some scooters and go for a burn. We just made it to our first stop, which is the Flamingo Lookout. And it's actually super cool. The flamingos are in this huge herd and they're way bigger than you think they would be. We're gonna continue burning around the island. We just got the two hour rental. It's nice that they have the options of being able to do a full day, half day, or even two hours. We were having such a blast ripping along the coastlines of this incredible island. Everything is so colorful and magical here. It's so beautiful. Cowrec Beach was honestly the most stunning place we stopped at during our time in Anagata. I mean, a pool table, a bar with a view, and shot skis, what more can you ask for? Navigar's fleets in the Caribbean have grown a lot over recent years. Due to a really high demand and general interest in sailing the Caribbean, the boats are filling up fast. Book your dream vacation through the link in my description before the ship has sailed. <laughs> 